Thank you, Chair. Good afternoon, everyone. At the outset, I would thank Dr. G. C. Das, sir, for giving me this opportunity to share my views about trabeculectomy with Ulogen. I don't have any financial disclosures. So uh, we know that trabeculectomy is the gold standard surgery because gives better dialer control and effective in disease progression with good success rate. But then we do have problems with trabeculectomy and uh, the most important cause of trabeculectomy failure is subconjunctival and subscleral fibrosis. So these are the various problems we are having with trabeculectomy surgery. Now, not just this, there are certain of the cases where, where actually we don't get the desired results, maybe may it be complicated glaucomas, post-PK glaucomas, uveitic glaucomas and so on and so forth. So, we are talking about various modifications to augment this trabeculectomy surgery and uh, regarding wood healing modulations, there are variety of factors. Just now we heard two talks, one on mitomycin C and another one on amniotic membrane. Nowadays, mitomycin C actually gives very good results and majority of glaucoma specialists, they are using Mitomycin C in different dosage and, uh, uh, and different duration depending on the case and uh, it has definitely revolutionized the treatment. But then there are definitely complications associated with usage of mitomycin C also and we have seen thin wall cystic blebs, uh, blebitis happening with usage of mitomycin C, hypotonic maculopathy, scleral melts and uh, sometimes suprachoroidal hemorrhage or choroidal effusions. Now, because of these uh, problems, the device which has recently come up is Olag Col collagen matrix implant, which is Ologen, which is basically uh, to increase the success rate by reducing the fibrosis. It is anticipated that it biodegrades with, within 90 days and is implanted over the scleral flap. Now, this ologen is basically a porous structure uh, where pore diameters are between 10 to 300 microns which comprises of ethylocollagen and glycosamine glycans. It is available in two dimensions in our uh, country, 6 into 2 and 12 into 1 millimeter. Now, what does uh, this ach achieve? The goal this achieves is that it gives a physiological environment for fibroblastic cells to grow into the porous structure, which maintains and gives a stiffness to the um, uh, bleb. It also preserves as a and functions as a reservoir without collapse during the period of wound contraction. And it also provides, when it absorbs aqueous, it uh, sort of provides a physical weight onto the scleral flap and therefore prevents post uh, shallow anterior chamber in post-operative period. So what we do, we complete our trabeculectomy surgery as we routinely do all our surgeries and then keep this collagen ologen uh, matrix implant uh, just behind the scleral flap and then important thing is to ensure a watertight closure. Uh, now here we can see that the thickness of the bleb is uh, uniform avascular bleb and we don't get thin walled blebs as we get with mitomycin C. So just an animation to show that how do we implant this ologen. After uh, suturing your scleral flap, yeah, we put one releasable suture and one non-releasable. You can modify your own technique and then this ologen is implanted onto the scleral flap and then you get the watertight closure. So, In fact, you can divide this ologen into two halves and can uh, implant onto the surface. It also gives equally good results if it is divided into two portions. The important thing is that we don't want any wound leakage in the post-operative period and uh, we don't want the, uh, this to rest onto the scleral flap and doesn't avoid the aqueous drainage. So there are various systemic reviews and meta-analysis and uh, they have seen that the effect of ologen and mitomycin C with trabeculectomy is comparable in uh, reducing the IOP, uh, in reducing the intraocular pressure in the patients, in reducing the number of anti-glaucoma medications and in improving the success rate. Uh, now, uh, the various studies are available and uh, in, uh, at our center also we have done a comparative analysis of both the groups in Ologen group and Mitomycin C group and uh, what we have found that it is good in reducing the intraocular pressure. Uh, there is some uh, advantage of Ologen over Mitomycin C that uh, the, uh, the 
shallowness of chamber is less, the bleb is more thick wall and diffuse and uh, there are less inter incidence of bleb leakage also. Now, uh, this is another Indian study to uh, say that uh, Ulogen is effective and equivalent to mitomycin C. Now, there are other things which are happening with Ologen, like people are using it for patch graft also to cover the uh, tube of the Ahmed Lokoma valve and uh, they are also doing bleb needling with the help of this implant. So, the, th the question arises to our mind is if it is equivalent to mitomycin C, why actually we are targeting, the, uh, why we are um, discussing about this new device. Now, the uh, indications are primarily in the patients who are having thin sclera, where we don't want to apply mitomycin C, which can further cause thinning, cephalomatous eye, myopic eye, and if there is too much risk of infection. So, in these cases, we do get added advantages of ologen over mitomycin C. So, to conclude, I will say it is a viable alternative, it is comparable, and indicated where anti metabolites are contraindicated because it causes uh, less of uh, thin wall cystic bleb and moreover we don't need to uh, dispose of the sponges as we need to do it for mitomycin C. Thank you so much for your Take kind comment. attention. How many cases you have done so far uh, Dr. Salini? 31 sir with Ologen. And uh, what is the success rate and follow up period? Sir follow up is around 9 months now mm -hmm. and uh, success rate is around 85 percent. The patients are doing good around 85 percent. Because um, we have been doing Ologen for a very long time and uh, somehow we are not very satisfied in doing the Ologen. In fact, it causes more of shrinkage sometimes. The, the blade becomes uh, flat very often, very often. So that's why practically we have stopped uh, doing it. And in case you get the good results, we might revive this uh, surgery again. <laughs> Why not? Sir, what we have realized that uh, uh, otherwise mitomycin C is an excellent agent to be used with trabeculectomy and we need not to modify our technique except in few selected patients where we are uh, uh, having thinned out sclera or something like that. Otherwise, um, a trab with mitomycin C is still is a gold standard technique. Uh, thank you, Dr.